Welcome to the Fat 8 Post Game Show, man. So this is a game. Um, what's good, everybody? This is a game where um, a video where I kind of give you guys a post game wrap up of uh, how things went down and my thoughts on uh, how the teams played and and where I give out the new Fat 8 Coin uh, award for the player of the game. So just to kind of show you guys, at the end of each game, um, the players will be earning a Fat 8 Coin. And this is going to go, this particular one is going to go to Ransom Fox for player of the game coming into this thing. He ended up actually including the negatives. I went back and I recorded down every rush that he had for the whole game. On six carries, he had a whopping 170 yards rushing. Uh, when accounting for the negatives, that pulled his numbers back um, a little bit. But just what an incredible athlete uh, the Michigan running back is. And he's going to be a nightmare for everybody uh, all season long to deal with. Even though the Wolverines was not able to pull out the win, the opening game here at home, the Buckeyes come out and they pull it out. Wow. Okay, so um, on the Buckeyes end, special teams player of the game is going to go to Anthony Jones. The Buckeyes uh, running back, that is number three over here. Um, Anthony Jones had three returns, two returns for touchdowns. Um, he had 160 yards for returns that went for touchdowns, and then he had an additional 60-yard return. Um, just absolutely incredible uh, by this guy that puts him over 240 yards just in returns. And then his rushing yards, he had five rushes. One, another went for a touchdown, three total touchdowns in this game, a 35-yard rushing touchdown, and then he had four other rushes that brought his total up as well. Just what an incredible guy. I, it was difficult for me to determine which one of these two guys should actually get the Fed 8 coin for this game, but Ransom Fox, man, on two carries, this dude had at one point 103 yards rushing on two carries in the first quarter alone. You just can't deny that. So, you know, getting into this game, so what was it that made this happen? Guys, yo, this was a roller coaster ride, man. This this whole game was a roller coaster ride for me. Like I had no I had no idea what was happening or what was going to happen and it just kept challenging me. Um, on both sides now. So there was some disappointing things for me and there's some, so, all right, so let's look at on the, on the Wolverine side of the ball. First off the Wolverine side of the ball, their offensive line is beast. So I got to give the Wolverines offensive line credit. Ransom Fox couldn't have gotten all of the yards that he got without the offensive line. They were blowing, uh, Ohio state's defensive line off the ball in some points. And I was watching, I go back and watch the film they're knocking the defensive line back five yards. And that was just making it where Ransom Fox was able to just rack up some huge yards. Now, the other thing for Fox that was just you just could not account for was his speed. Um, the uh, At the second level, the linebackers, the, the Buckeyes linebackers, they just couldn't keep up with them. So once he got through the first level and made it into the second level, it was a foot race and they just couldn't run him down. Um, and it didn't even matter if you took a good angle. You just couldn't catch him. So um, that put a lot of pressure on the Buckeye secondary, which is where Bryson McCord came in, making some clutch passes there. Um, and, and the Buckeye secondary is already weak. You know, Florida A&M has exploited that um, Central Arkansas in season three and season four exploited that. Um, that is a weak area for the for this Buckeyes team. Their secondary is is really weak, and so if you can attack them there, uh, which I believe you know is gonna make is gonna make them they're vulnerable to to teams that pass, and there are a bunch of teams in the FedEx Conference that's pass oriented. That's like you know sixty percent pass. Um, some there are two of them that's eighty percent pass. So that's you know gonna present a problem for them going down the line. Um, defensively for the Buckeyes, the Buckeyes defensively, man, they made a clutch. They they made a clutch stance there in the end, and they was able to hold the Wolverines 
Um, you know, some incomplete passes made it made it made it difficult for the Wolverines to move the ball. There was some great coverage there. The defensive line tightened things up, made it difficult um, for Fox to run the ball on that last play. Man, they they dropped Fox for a six yard loss, and that was huge. Not only did it take away from his total, but it was huge as a momentum swing for the game. And then Anthony Jones get the punt, and he returns it back for 80 yards. So on special teams, this is where the Buckeyes shine. Y'all, don't get mad. The Wolverines offensively dominated this game, right? So measuring up offense to defense, the Wolverines dominated the game offensively. They, um, I mean, total offense, the Wolverines were over 380 yards total offense. So they dominated the game offensively. The Buckeyes gave up, you know, over 300 yards defensively in this game. You can't win games like that. Now, the Buckeyes offensively didn't really do that much. Um, the Wolverines defense broke down in some positions. So now let's flip the script. A little bit offensively for the Buckeyes. Uh, they had Anthony Jones, right? They had Anthony Jones. He broke for one big run. But the Buckeyes didn't win this game on offense. Other than that, the offense only put up seven points on the board. That was all they accounted for. Seven points. And then they accounted for the field goal. That gave them another three. So the offense put ten points up on the board for the Buckeyes. But where the Buckeyes won this game was in special teams. Over 240 yards in special teams alone. And that is where the Wolverines suffered. They did not run their lanes. They didn't cover well on special teams. And and that's where the Buckeyes hurt them on special teams. Three returns in this game. Um, two, two returns by Anthony Jones, one return. Um, by Rodney Johnson, and and that's that's the huge difference in this game. Those punt returns and kick returns is what hurt the Wolverines. So all in all, what it came down to offensively, the Wolverines is a juggernaut. Everybody is going to struggle with trying to stop this Wolverine offense, especially the offensive line. The kind of pressure that they put on on a defensive line makes it extremely difficult to stop the rushing attack. However, on the flip side, if the Wolverines don't tighten up on punt returns and on kick returns, they are going to suffer. They're going to struggle all game long. You know, this is just the first one. The Buckeyes hadn't really been that strong in the last three seasons, four seasons. They really hadn't been that strong coming in at best, coming in third place in season five, third place in season three. I mean, in season four, third place in season three. Um, so here we are at the top of season five. We start in game one. Wolverines at home. They lose a big game at home. Remember, we got the home field advantage rule. So um, Buckeyes on their second road game, wherever they go, you know, the Buckeyes, they're going to be solid. They're ready to go. So I'm going to stop it here, man. I'm eight minutes in. Those are my thoughts on this game. Special teams won the day today. Special teams won the day. The Wolverines didn't put up much on special teams. The Buckeyes did. Wolverines dominated on offense. You know, Wolverines dominated on defense. Buckeyes only got 10 points offensively. So, you know, Michigan put up 26 points, 27 points offensively. So it should have been 27 to 10. But when you account for... Those three kick returns, that changed the tide. And that was huge there at the end of the game. So, that's my wrap-up. Game one, season five, in the books. Wolverines have an L. But they have another big game coming up. So, look forward to the next big game, guys. Look forward to the next big game. I'm the Aggie Coach, signing off. Don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.